Hi there, so my name is Rosie Stevenson Goodnight, and this is my origin story. I'm here at Wikiconference North America 2023, Toronto, Canada, and during the board session, I'm a trustee of the board, um, each of us was asked about how it is that we came to be on this stage, and so I want to share that with you. When I was in high school, a very long time ago, I went to the high school library and I took a book off the bookshelf about Australia. I turned the pages of the book and saw these pretty pictures of the landscape and the different kinds of geographical features, but it was the riveting pictures of the Aboriginal um, uh, Australians that really caught my eye, caught my attention. And truly, it was then at that table looking at that book that I made a decision what I wanted to do with my life. And that is I wanted to become cultural anthropologist and go around the world doing research and studying different cultures, but particularly cultures that are people on islands. I know Australia is a very big island, but it is an island. I wanted to be like Margaret Mead and go to Papua New Guinea and meet the people who live there. Um, Margaret Mead went to Barnard, just like my mom did. It was my mom's alma mater. And I set my sights on going to Barnard also. But my dad, who was paying for my college education, said cultural anthropology is not a practical major. Rosie, you're not going to become a cultural anthropologist. You're going to get married. You're going to have kids. You're going to maybe want to work part-time. So think about accounting or become a pharmacist. You can do those things part-time. So I got a degree in business, and then I got a master's degree in business, and I made a life in a, with a very good career in business and retired. But that cultural anthropologist, she never left. That person was always in my heart. And with Wikipedia, starting on June 4th, 2007, I could be that person. I could be a cultural anthropologist and do my research, do my studies, write my articles in a way that fit me, fit what I think I was meant to do. Little did I know, though, in 2007, that I would get kind of knee-deep in other parts of Wikipedia, not just writing the articles, but I would meet people, I would attend events, I would become a member of several affiliates, founder, co-founder of three of them, the vice chair of Wikimedia DC. I participated in many different committees, including six years on the affiliations committee, the last two as the chair of the committee. I was on one of the movement strategy committees. I've done all sorts of work in that way. And yet, in 2019, at that Wiki Conference North America, I still hadn't formulated the thought of me eventually being a candidate to be on the board of trustees. But that did happen around 2020. In 2021, I was a successful candidate and I've been a trustee ever since then. I can say it's a lot of work, it's hard work, it's stressful work. It isn't for everyone, but it's probably the most affirming work that I've ever done. And I'm grateful that I get to have that seat on that panel with this board. Would it be too much for you to explain a bit about what your duties are and what you, what you do as a board member? A lot of work that we do on the board is done in committees. There are several committees, and I participate currently on three of them. The Governance Committee, the Community Affairs Committee, and the committee that I chair called Talent and Culture Committee. So I'm going to talk about that one. Little did I know that, that my career that included human resources, particularly talent acquisition, you know, recruitment, you're hired, you're hired, you're hired that that background would be so useful in this committee called Talent and Culture. And the work that we do there, um, now that I'm the chair, I can tell you the most important piece of what we do is the annual review of the CEO. It's developing the process and seeing it through to the end, as well as having the discussion and recommendation to the full board regarding merit increases not just for the CEO, but also for the leadership team. So that's just a part of what I do, but most of the work, as I said, is 
on committees, and this is one segment of it. Anything else you want to share? I can say that being on the board is very high level, strategic thinking and working. No matter what part of the community you might have come from, you leave that aside when you join the board because there we focus on strategic thinking and not any one's you know, kind of pet area, mine being gender. I don't focus on gender when I'm on the board. I focus on high level from 60,000 feet kind of issues that we have with um, the Wikimedia Foundation.